Their TV show was produced by Screen Gems, their record by Call Gems under producer Don Kirshner, and The Monkees Caught Fire. Davy Jones was born at the end of World War II in England. He trained as a horse jockey, then an actor. He was backstage at Ed Sullivan waiting to perform a number from Oliver when he watched the Beatles from the wings. And later he said he saw girls going crazy and he wanted a piece of that. And he got it from Marsha Brady, among others. I promise I'd get you to sing at the prom. Do you know a girl that would like to go with me? <laughs> Do I? They had four number one albums in one year's time. They were everywhere. Everyone knew a monkey song, and all good things did eventually come to an end. Are there any monkey fans here tonight? There were reunions in fits and starts, and mostly in his later years, Davy Jones did some acting, raced some horses, and played some music until the very end. Wow. And now Pete toured with the Monkees in 1990. What are your memories of Davey? Look, he was an uh, absolute gentleman. You know, he, he actually loved his horses because he was a, a jockey, apparently. Oh, he had oh horses. that's right. He went on to try and become a professional that's jockey. That's right, yeah. No, he was, he was a really lovely man. So they were all great guys. Yeah. yeah. And they, they ended up kind of writing some of their own material and Eventually, stuff yeah. Him, didn't they? Yeah, well, you know, Peter, actually, the reason why I started playing guitar was because of the Monkees. Is that right? He, absolutely. <laughs> and I used to love Peter, is it Peter Talk? Yep. But um, there I am. Geez, I look Which a lot like you? Keith Urban uh, 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 on the uh, left-hand uh, side. Oh, nothing's changed. Look at those, <laughs> look at those guns, Pete. Um, now, it's good music. It must be fun to play because, gee, it's fun to sing along with and I can't sing. Oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> great, great song. Yeah, we can all vouch for that. Um, <laughs> six million selling singles mm. in two years, those monkeys had. Unbelievable. Isn't that incredible? I mean, even today, you know, that, that would be an astonishing feat but way back mm. then yeah well this tour was 1990 and the crowds were massive and you know banners and all that sort of stuff it was an incredible time and that's some great songwriters working good. for them i think it's feel good music yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why yeah. it just makes you smile yeah. and you think yay all was, is right with the world they were one of the original um, you know prefab boys bands they mm. were the one oh. direction yes, of their the era long bands. before simon cow and michael exactly. nesmith as well was a was quite a talent huh? he went on to a, a great career after and his mum invented white that's it. Lit, lit, oh, oh, that's, right. that's the big yeah. thing. It's yeah. always a good question. I also read the other day that um, uh, the, the, the a whole bunch of careers were, were boosted off the back of their songs. Uh, Neil Diamond, Carol King, yep. because they wrote all their songs. Carol Sayer Bager or what Bager Sayer or whatever her name is. Yeah. 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 Well, I think uh, Bagon. Sayer Bagel. Bagel. Anyway, Don't she can destroy me. pests in under a minute. Um, <laughs> well, we should let you get back into the band. I'll do that. Go um, and I think this one's a Neil Diamond you. number written yeah. for the, for the monkeys. Daydream Believer, yeah. I think. Um, what better way to remember Davy than by playing a classic monkeys hit? Let's hand over to Pete, Sharon, Chrissy, and Sisters to Sister School of Singing with Daydream Believer. Have a great week, everyone. See you. Thank you.